The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says two of the people who were aboard the Royal Caribbean cruise ship had traveled to China recently and were displaying respiratory symptoms. The other two were members of the same family and are being evaluated as a precaution. The CDC director says the level of coronavirus exposure risk depends on where the passengers have traveled. It's complicated because these cruise ships, you really dependent on the place of origin. There's been a rise in the number of confirmed coronavirus cases on another cruise ship docked off Japan, where around 3,700 people remain confined to their cabins. Philip and Gay Corder are currently on board the cruise liner. We've got to get off this ship. We're certainly prepared to do the 14 days if it's safe to do 14 days, but I don't think it's even safe to be here for that length of time now, unfortunately. Japanese officials say 61 people have now tested positive for the disease on the quarantined ship. Meanwhile, Americans continue to be evacuated from Wuhan. A total of 800 Americans have been brought out of the city on chartered planes. The first charter flight departed Wuhan on January 28th. Two subsequent flights departed on February 5th. Yesterday, on February 6th, Two additional evacuation flights departed Wuhan. He says the State Department has helped deliver 18 tons of donated supplies to China and is ready to do more. Today, at the direction of the Secretary of State, I am pleased to announce that the United States government is prepared to spend up to $100 million in existing funds to assist China and other impacted countries, as well as the World Health Organization, to contain and combat the novel coronavirus. In Hong Kong, a small group gathered to commemorate the death of Dr. Li Wenliang, a Chinese doctor who had warned about the possible spread of a new virus in Wuhan in early December of last year. We feel very sad that uh, Dr. Li, who is the first whistleblower about the corona, coronavirus uh, virus, and uh, he, he just tried to tell the truth. The 34-year-old ophthalmologist died on Friday in Wuhan Central Hospital after contracting the deadly new strain of the coronavirus. Mariama Jalou, VOA News.